Hey guys, Martin here, Shag with Shagger. Um, we needed to bring this to you pretty quickly, just because. So, for anyone that follows Shaka Pew Pew on Facebook or Instagram, you'll have seen his recent build using the, what colour is your receiver? Purple. Purple receiver. And you'll probably have seen if you read the details that it's got the new Leviathan optical MOSFET in there. Now, he's been raving about them for about two weeks to us since they arrived, and then we just managed to get our hands on some directly through Osgel, the Australian distributor. So they're obviously warranted, all backed by Leviathan, Jeftron, and Osgel. But we wanted to have a quick chat about them because they are pretty bloody epic. Yeah. Um, Jeftron have absolutely smashed the ball out of the park. Um, so a little bit of history around the MOSFETs that Asriel's have been running. We've always had gate stuff until last year when we had the issues with gates and their electric mags, which obviously, because they were not gelable specific. So we were running Leviathan version ones, which had the micro switch, all well and good, but without saying anything bad about the product, like a lot of you will know, is they had a bit of a lifespan. They, it tended to be an unwritten rule that they would last about 30,000 shots. That little micro switch that would get tapped by the sector every fire, every revolution, had a short life. There was no way around it. Yeah. Then Gate came to the party and gave us gel ball specific MOSFETs and they've been brilliant. Not really anything particularly wrong with them, they're great. But now this is here. Good bang for buck with the with the Asdas especially. Yep. Um, you know we've dropped them in everything: DSG, 60 RPS, SSGs, everything. They're yep. they're perfectly fine and, and good value for money. Um, but this, running one of these has been yeah. It's just it's just it's more expensive. Um, kind of depending how you look at it. Yeah, depending how you look at it, it's it's at the end of the day, it's just easier from a text perspective for me. To look at something like this and go you know what if they're going to push the bar up um in terms of you know pound for pound sort of yeah. thing then that's what we're all about here we're all about it's just whatever's best whatever's best yeah. um whatever's be whatever's going to work best and i hear it a lot from customers all the time they're like oh i've got a parent i've got this can i build this with that and i'm like yeah dude we can build it with that no dramas at all um you know, I'm not really specific towards anything. As long as it works, or as long as it's the best, if, it can, if it's coming out of Azrael's directly, it's always the best quality tested parts. That's a pretty good way of saying um, it. Yeah, that's... So that, just something that we've got to reinforce is, we've also got Astas, we've got more Astas coming, and we've got these as well now. And as long as these are available through Osgel, we'll try and have them on the shelf, because yeah. your impressions in the last two weeks, whatever it is, month, whatever it is, has it's been outstanding. and. None of us really knew why, because you built it at home, you put it in, and we've seen it working. But now that we've actually got to open the box, see one installed, um, see the few things that Jeff Tron have done to really step up their game, um, do you want to talk through those features? Not necessarily the base features, but what makes this kind of special and, and what we call an industry leader at the moment? So what makes it special is they took a product that had known sort of issues, not issues, but more flaws in its design, and they really went, right, let's knuckle down, let's get rid of all these problems, let's enhance this. And they, they stepped it up a few pegs in the sense that you've got multiple soldering points for multiple devices, from torches to powered mags to anything you can think of, shot counters, um, you know, sensors for, you know, mag reload for virtual magazines. Um, so, yeah. so really it's not gel bore specific, I guess you could say, but mm. the feature of having a power output means you can quite easily run electric mags. And not just gel blaster mags, you can run a LMG S or box mag. Anything, yeah. But that allows yeah. it to be 100% electric mag gel blaster ready. That's right, yeah, so that's, that's right. That's not a patch, that's not a add-on. That is a seriously awesome feature. That's right, yeah. That is actually built up. It is the product. It is straight off the bat electrically able to power max. That's right, yeah, that's right. And I mean, even on top of that, they've got the Milsim style trigger. So when you, you can tighten up your trigger pull, so you've got your pull, your wall, break. It, they've, they've tried to simulate sort of a, like for the Milsim side of things, a, a more realistic trigger versus, and then it's also got the hairline trigger too. 
So it's, it, it sort of caters to everyone in that sense. They, they've upped the processor of it. The processor's used to pop. Um, under crazy builds, like a, standard builds, they wouldn't be an issue. But when you really push these things to 60, 80, 90 RPS, like they, they, the micro switch for the sector gear used to hit the cam. And for example, say you split a gear and you make a six to one or a 12 to one DSG, the old Leviathans ran off a micro switch. So once you split that gear, you now have a 12 to one lower on a DSG upper. So you've only got the one cam. So on one full spin, the MOSFET thinks it's one shot, but because you put a DSG upper on a 12 to one lower, it'll do two shots, thinking it's one shot. This new optical setup here will also read that. Um, so it, it will single shot no matter what cams are on the bottom, just purely by detecting the teeth. Um, you know, on, on top of that, obviously it's Bluetooth. You've got tunable power output, tunable power input. So you can tune, for example, you can have your blaster fire off the power from the motor. You can then increase it to half a second, one second, 1.5, 2, 2.5, I believe. So when you finish shooting, your blaster will then prime for half a second after, which is super handy for those really high rate of fire builds. Um, just to give that, that force those gels up into the T-piece. Um, they are amazing. And one thing that Shan pointed out, which is one I, I didn't know, because obviously this is not my forte. Sorry if the phone's buzzing. <laughs> um, but in everything else that's had electric mag wires, they've come from back here and had to be run back forward. But these ones come out the front. That's right. So yeah. there's less wire management. You haven't got an extra two wires running through. And where gate splice them is right here, right on the anti-reverse latch. So that's just easier just easier use yeah dual board upper and lower so you don't have a sticker in there are these stickers yep so the stickers are for, for the selector plate um you know basically it runs off <laughs> off detection of the the sticker there for so safe center different and auto. wideness yeah um same features as before like it's got all the same original leviathan features um that you know if you've run a leviathan people will know sort of what i'm talking about there it's pretty good um, manual too very, very, good, very detailed, good little manual. Very detailed manual that it comes with. Also comes with a trigger. Um, you know, and so you can have your trigger to, there. And to not uh, upset anyone, but it is capable of 14 volts as well, um, where gate generally isn't yeah. supposed to be, but isn't. Yep. So if you do want to run that big 4S battery, you can. Um, yeah, overall, I'm super excited. It's yeah, great. yeah, they've really um, smashed it out of the park. The, the the trigger isn't optical. They've got a little like detection pad that basically pushes in. But before it ran off a little switch, and sometimes people would set the trigger up to hairline. But if you say white knuckled the blaster, say you pulled the trigger too hard, it would set too far forward, go beyond the switch, and then on the way back it snapped the switch off. Um, we've seen that really Is it optical happen. internally, maybe? Maybe that pad has got an optic inside it? It's got a little... So you're deflecting the pad? Yeah, it's got a little divot there, so you can actually feel it slightly click. Yeah. Um, the fire select, all optical. The, the sector gear, all optical. Um, but yeah, that, that trigger isn't, but the pad seems much more reliable than a little switch. It's so it's a little breaking. pressure pad rather than micro switch. Yeah. So it's not an optical trigger, but it's optical sensory. But the beauty of that is means you don't have any light issues in your blaster. Yeah, which is so. what we've seen a little bit with the Astas on the milled receivers. Yeah. 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 And that's why we, Aztec, we came up with our specific top for our speed trigger for the Aster. Um, is there any questions coming up, Iggy, or anything that we should cover? How much? $249. Uh, it's Australian price, controlled price um, for distributed to ship through Ausgel. So we're $249. Everyone should be $249. Um, Shan mentioned before that Astas are still a bit more bang for buck in that they're $160. Bucks, but you then ideally want a tunable trigger and you want the control cable. That's right. So you can plug in using the chip. Whereas this is Bluetooth, comes with a trigger. So they're very similar yep. in actual dollars, whilst the Aster is cheaper to buy. By the time you get to this spec, I guess it's similar. Also it works on iOS and Android, so it does work on both. Um, we have had a couple of customers that do run iOS on Apple that have had a little bit of drama, but the beauty of the Aster is you don't even need to plug it in to tune it. You can tune it straight off the trigger. Beautiful. This you yeah. can't. Yeah. Um, but so this has got Bluetooth to your phone. Exactly. And it should now work on both phone types. Exactly. Yeah. Which, the trigger is really cool. 
Yeah. We, we thought that was a great feature coming from no trigger tuning and then the Perrin had it, the yeah. big eyes had it and then Gabe did bring that in the last one which was brilliant. We yeah. thought that was a great feature but it never had Bluetooth yeah. and you know I just reminded myself this morning when Maddie was asking me yesterday how many of my Leviath shots of my Leviathan's done and brought up the Leviathan app on my phone and there was my 16,000 shot count so um, yeah, it's it's pretty exciting to see something growing. Once, once my and... other Leviathans die, I'll replace with these. But I do run also like two or three Asdas, Titans, Perrins. I run everything, Warfets, Nanos. It doesn't really matter what it is to me. As long as it's quality, I'm going to go. And, you know, us being Aztec, you know, we're always pushing things to its limit. I can truly appreciate that they sat down and they looked yeah. at themselves from an unbiased perspective and went, you know what? Let's do it, let's go optical, let's get rid of this. We do recognize this is a problem, let's change that. And from that perspective, I've got to give credit where credit is due and they've mm. smashed it. That's that's development, that's evolution. And yeah. Jefftron never seemed to be a big name from my limited airsoft research, your extensive airsoft research. Iggy's extensive airsoft Knowledge. life experience. Yeah. Jefftron was always a meh in airsoft. Yeah, there's early. a lot of chatter about these on the forums. Yeah. In the last what six weeks, maybe a bit more, maybe three months. Yeah, a few months. Sort of We're a little bit behind the times in getting them because you know, Ausgels had a bit of a tough time getting them. But um, the fact that the airsoft world is talking means it's not just us seeing the perks. Exactly. Are the wires better on this than the old ones? Uh, to be honest, the amount of amps that a mag motor or something would draw is slim to none. Um, I'd recommend like a 20 gauge wiring if you're going to say wire in like a torch or something or. Not that you really would, um, but if you are going to do something pretty crazy, but the mag motor uses next to nothing. The wires are more That's than sufficient, yeah. and the wiring directly off the Leviathan board itself are second to none. Mm. They're on par with Titan and Asda wiring. And it's um, actually better length than the current Asda positive. That's right. So the length is, is proper length for running both cables up one side of the grip and around the motor. So the correct way you're meant to run the wires, um, it's, it's perfect length, easier cable management, many features bigger processor um they they really are truly a piece of kit yeah. um cool beans very nice well, let's um let's leave it there but i'm going to say hey dan well done um make sure you've got more coming because Azrael's want them i don't really care need what them. brent says because Azrael's need them need. this is the best product on the market that we need to put in our builds because we only use as shan said the best products we can and if anyone wants to think otherwise, that's fine, but we, Dan, proof, proof is in the pudding. we want more, because <laughs> they're brilliant, loving them, so, um, there we go. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys.